There's one thing that can definitely be said about GNOME. People either love it or hate it. And then on the other hand, you also have the Nautilus File Manager. I know, nowadays it's called Files. Nautilus, can, Nautilus is GNOME's default file manager. And you may have seen it in many different Linux distributions. It's a good file manager with plenty of features. However, you can enhance it or make it a lot better with just a few little tweaks and some adjustments. And that's what we're going to cover today on eBuzz Central. Before we get started with today's video, I want to remind everybody, whether you're a patron of my channel or not, zip on over to my Patreon page, scroll down until you get to the 10,000 subscriber video that I have posted here. Everybody can watch it. I want you to take a look at it. I have to put it on Patreon because there are certain rules on YouTube that I can't break. And let's just say this rhymes with shmiv away. But anyway, zip on over there, take a look at that video. There's a lot of good information in it. Also, if you haven't had a chance to get on over to the eBuzz Central store, please do. We've got everything from Linux Mint to Arch. T-shirts, hoodies, stickers, mugs, you name it, it's over there. And if there's something that's not on there that you would like to see, drop it in the comments below and we'll do our darndest to get it up there for you. So now let's go ahead and get to that video. Now these tips tweaks and different things I'm going to show you how to do today. You can use them on any of the many Linux distributions that use Nautilus or as it's called now files. So whether you're using Fedora 36 or something like Pop! OS, it'll work on any distribution out there. I'm going to give you instructions today on the Debian or Ubuntu based distributions. If you want to make these changes, you should be able to, but on some of the ones that I'm going to show you where you download application extensions or something like that, you'll just have to find out what your distros package management has for you there. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and maximize this so it's easy to see. Okay, the first thing we want to cover is showing the number of items in a folder. Some people like this, some people don't. I personally do. I like to see how many items are in a folder and have it actually listed under the name. So this one right here is, th this is a pretty easy fix right here. All you have to do is you have to zip on over to preferences, drop down here, and then scroll all the way down and see right here where it says icon view captions, first, second, or third. Just go to the first where it says none and click on it. And then right here, all you wanna do is click on size. And then you can close out. And now if you look up here, it lets you know desktop and then you've got zero items and as you put things in here you'll be able to see that they show the number of items and if you don't want it there it's real simple you just go back over go to preferences go back down here and change that back to none and that leaves okay that's just a little tweak you can make help your experience a little bit maybe help you with your productivity next thing we're going to do one of the best things that i've added to nautilus even though it's a real easy fix and real easy switch to click. When you right click, you get open, move to, move to trash, rename, compress, send to, open in terminal. You get a lot of different choices here, but one you don't get to do is just delete it. Yes, you can move it to trash and then zip over and empty the trash and it's deleted. I want to delete it right away. Now, a lot of people don't know if you just go over here to preferences, and go down here, you've got optional context menu actions. Delete permanently. Just click that on. Now when you come over here and you right click, you can come down, delete permanently. You can either use the shortcut, which is shift and delete, or just click on it right here and make it go away. Now I know this is something small, but these are the little things that make Nautilus a little bit more user friendly. I have a lot of people tell me they don't believe Nautilus is powerful enough to be used for the things that they need to do. So I'm doing this video and maybe this will help you out a little bit. So let's move on. Now another concern that some people have is when they do actually delete files off their system, does it actually delete them? Even if you permanently delete a file, chances are the data could still be recovered. Now there is an extension provided for Nautilus to wipe files securely and fill the empty places so that data cannot be recovered. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go down here and open up a terminal. What you're going to want to do is do sudo apt install 
Nautilus wipe. Go ahead and bring that up and it says, do you want to continue? Just hit yes. And go ahead and let that install. It doesn't take too long. It's pretty quick. It's a pretty fast extension. So what you want to do here is go ahead and Nautilus dash Q. You want to close it from terminal. And then what you want to do is open it back up. Okay, we're full screen now. And what you'll want to do is go ahead and click on anything. Just go right here, right click. And if you come down here, you'll see wipe and wipe available disk space. What this will do will actually write data or put different things over the disk space that you wipe so that data cannot be recovered. It comes in handy. You've got wipe and wipe available disk space. So you can use that. It comes in quite handy, like I said. And make sure when you install that extension that you do Nautilus-Q from the terminal and then restart Nautilus. That gives you a nice restart because if you just try to close and reopen it, Sometimes that doesn't work. You want to go ahead and do that from the terminal. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and enable Quick View. I'm going to go ahead and open up Firefox right here. And let's go ahead and look up something like uh, Mandalorian. I just want an image to download. And let's go ahead and open that in a new tab. And that's all I want. Let's save that image as. And we will go over and save it in pictures. So we'll save that. And it is completed, so let's go ahead and close. The next thing I want to do right now, and if we go to pictures, it should show that there's one picture in there, and there's one item right there. What we're going to do now is enable a quick file preview. Quick preview is a rather handy feature for a file manager. KDE's Dolphin File Manager has it built in, and you can preview such files as PDFs, text, images, audio, etc. You can scroll documents while in preview, so... What we're going to do in Nautilus, you actually need to install GNOME Sushi. So let's open up the terminal. And what we're going to do up here, let's go ahead and maximize that so you can see what I'm typing. Control Shift. Let's get that up. Right here, you're going to put sudo apt install GNOME Sushi. Hit enter. And do we want to continue? Yes, we do. And like before, you're going to want a Nautilus. Dash Q. Q. Okay. Nautilus is closed. Close out of the terminal. Now when you open it back up, and what we will do is go up to pictures. And if you come up to the file, you can just click it, hit the space key, and it gives you a quick preview. Okay. Now hear what I said. Click the file, hit space key you get a quick preview. Then you can open it with an image viewer if you choose to. If it's a document, it'll go ahead and open up inside of uh, whatever Office application you're using, audio, video, et cetera, et cetera, whether it be VLC or Audacity or something like that. That's a easy way to install quick file preview onto your Nautilus file manager. Now, the next thing we wanna cover is getting the list of recently visited directories Nautilus has a feature to show recently accessed files, but what about recently accessed directories? If you just right click on this left button up here, it'll show you that the most recent was pictures and pop OS. A lot of people don't know that. If you just go right click, you can come down here or you can go over there and it lets you know the most recent directories you've been to. So I'm going to go ahead and point that out to you. Now, another thing you want to take a look at is if uh, you've got specific folders over here. Now, if you want to add folders to here, let's say you've got a folder that you're going to create, and let's go ahead and create a my work folder. Maybe this is where you're going to have all of your important things that you're doing on a daily basis, and you want quick access to it over here, so you don't got to come over here. Just grab it, bring it over, new bookmark, go ahead, drop it there, and you've got your new work folder over here, and you can move it. It's down here now and it makes it easier for you to access. A lot of people don't know that, believe it or not. I've had people say all the time, I can do that in Dolphin, but I can't do it in Files or Nautilus. The reason I call it Nautilus is because I'm old head. I've been in Linux now for almost 15 years, 
it's always going to be Nautilus to me, no matter what the GNOME team name it. Next thing we're going to do is rotate and resize images with a right click. To enable this functionality, you need to install Image Magic and Nautilus Image Converter. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and open up the terminal. And we're going to maximize it. And we will go ahead and zoom this up so you can see what I'm typing. Okay, right here you're going to want to put sudo apt install image magic nautilus dash image dash converter. Hit enter. Yes, you want to continue. This will take just a little bit of time to install. But once it gets done, it gives you a little bit more power into the file manager. So what I'm going to do right here is what we did a while ago. Nautilus-Q. Force shut it. Close this. Now we're going to go ahead and open it back up. Now if you go up to pictures, you can right click. Resize or rotate images. You can, you can sit right here. You can rotate it clockwise if you want. Rotate. And it'll index it right here, rotated. Maybe not something you need to use, or maybe it's something you don't want to use, but it is available if you need to use it, and it's right there inside the file manager. Okay, on to the next. Let's go ahead and go back to home. Okay, adding some color to your file manager. If you want to add some color to your file explorer, how about changing the colors of these specific folders? That's what we're going to do. Because, I, you know, on Pop! OS, I do like the blue theme, but sometimes I like different colors on different folders to kind of make things stand out. And it's easier for me to, uh, it's easier for my production. I just know that purple is this and yellow is this. And it may sound silly, but once you get into a workflow, it actually makes things a lot easier. So what we're going to do real quick is we're just going to go ahead and open up a terminal. Let's go ahead and maximize it. Now, what you're going to want to install right here is a pretty simple command. It's just sudo apt install folder dash color. Hit enter. Yes, we want to continue. And as before, Nautilus dash Q. Okay, so now you close and open Nautilus back up. And then all you got to do over here is just select a folder now, right click, folder color. You can come down here and change it to any color you want. I'm going to go ahead and change it to green. And then over here on this folder color, you can go ahead and change it to violet. And then you can pretty much change these to anything that you want. Like I said, this isn't for everybody. And a lot of people are going to like the blue in, the, in Pop! OS with the nice little icons on them. You know, me, I recognize color quicker than I do icons. Just a personal preference, but at the end of the day... That's what Linux is about, freedom. Giving you the freedom to change anything you want and make it how you want. So, next thing we're going to cover. Open any location in Terminal. No need for extra steps for this one. From any location in the File Manager, just right-click and select Open Selection in Terminal. You can come down here. If you, if you download a script online or whatever you might be using, just right-click on that. And all you got to do is open with New Tab, open with Other lo Location. But if you go down here, Open in Terminal. It's real quick, it's easy. You just click on it and it'll open it up. My documents folder was just opened up in Terminal. It makes things a lot easier if you know how to navigate and get around Nautilus and files. And I'm just showing you a few tips of things that make it a little bit easier to get around and navigate it, plus ways of making your workflow go a little faster. Now, I hear this one all the time. Sometimes people just want to paste files to restricted directories, like... Uh, user share backgrounds. You cannot paste such locations and you cannot edit the files unless you are a root or sudo user. You can easily switch that in terminal, but what about the file manager? With Nautilus admin extension, you can actually open files as root within Nautilus. So there's no need to open the terminal and perform sudo actions. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open up the terminal and we're going to this is going to make things a lot easier for you, especially if you're somebody that just wants to paste a wallpaper folder into the backgrounds directory. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do sudo apt install at, sorry, nautilus dash 
admin. Hit enter. Now we're going to want a Nautilus dash Q. Q. Sorry guys, my fingers ain't working for me today. Dash Q. Okay, so we killed that. Let's go ahead and close that. Let's open Nautilus back up. Now, if you come up here now, no matter what file, no matter what folder you open, if you right click it, you can come down here and open as administrator. So that means you'll be able to go into that root user folder where the backgrounds are and actually be able to do some work inside there. That makes things really simple. One of the final things I want to show you is sometimes you need to verify a hash check sum of a file. There are dedicated tools to verify these, obviously, but you can also check the hashes in the Nautilus file manager. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to go ahead and open up the terminal and this will be the last thing I show you today because uh, I think that's like 11 or 12 different things you can do to change up and make Nautilus useful. So what you want to do right here is go ahead and use sudo apt install Nautilus gtk hash. Hit enter. Yes, we want to install it. And now, just like we were doing before, Nautilus-Q. And close out of it. Now what you need to do is you need to go back down here to Nautilus. And I don't believe I have a file that we can actually look at. Let's see, right click, properties. Okay, I don't have one I can actually check the hash on, but I'm going to show you the changes and where it's at. If you remember before when I opened this picture, it was basic permissions open with image, now you have digests. And you can come down here, and you've got your MD5, you've got your SHA right here. If you had an ISO, you could check the hashes right here. And it's right inside of the file manager. Makes things really easy, makes things accessible right at your fingertips. Now I know everybody's gonna say there's specific tools to do everything you just showed us. You can do it all through terminal, but sometimes people don't want to be in the terminal and they just want their workflow sped up. So hopefully these tips that I've showed you today help. If they do, please leave a comment below. And if you think it was a waste of time, please leave me a comment as well. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we're producing, you can support us by becoming a member right here on YouTube going over to Patreon and becoming a patron to the channel, buying us a coffee, or zipping on over to PayPal and throwing us a donation. And I want to take a little time right now to thank the people that make this channel possible, and us, all of my supporters, my YouTube members, and my patrons. Executive producer, Mislav Krileja. Producer, Mitchell Valentino. VIP sponsors are Eugene Lee, Brian Mitchell, Antoine Wilk. All access sponsors, Mike DePolis and PJ. Sponsors, Cato Gosted. Nitrix Development Team, Chad Jones, David Collins, Marco Lopez, Steve Willard, Eric Crowell, Joel Celerzano, Warlock, Sivius, Art Edwards, Marmaduke, Keith Hefner, and Stein Sailor Audland. Thank you guys, you're the reason this channel exists. If you enjoyed the video you just watched, here are a couple more for you to take a look at. I generally cover Linux and open source, but sometimes I do do a little Windows bashing and maybe a little Google bashing as well. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.